Hey, what's going on guys? Vanoss here, and today I'm bringing you guys a silent KSG Moab, and uh, before we get into the actual Moab streak, I want to give you guys a few tips. So the first thing I want to show you guys is my class setup. So as you guys can tell, I'm using damage as my proficiency, and uh, that's definitely what you want to use. I know a lot of people think range might be a good idea because the silencer does decrease your range with a shotgun, but I just find that using range gives you too many hit markers, and uh, damage is definitely going to give you a lot more one-shot kills. And on top of that, you actually unlock range when you get to your specialist bonus, and you unlock all all the proficiencies but if you start with range you won't be able to unlock damage in your specialist bonus because that's the only proficiency that you don't unlock besides attachments so it's definitely worth using damage right off the bat and you'll see at my perks here it's pretty much the standard setup that I use all the time with all my shotguns and you'll see that my specialist package is the same setup as my model 1887 class and I'm gonna leave the links in the description of my regular shotgun class and my uh, model 1887 class so you guys could have an idea of why I pick these perks if you guys are new to this channel and you haven't seen those videos but I will explain one thing the reason why I unlock stalker as my first perk is because I find that the KSG 12 along with the model 18 a7 uh, benefit a lot when you aim down sights especially with the silencer because I find it's imperative to aim directly in the center of your target in order to get those one-shot kills and it's gonna be a lot easier to do this when you're able to stray faster and move faster and on top of that I always found that you got extra range with stalker and the reason for this is because as you're aiming down sights and uh, aiming at the enemy you're actually moving forward and as you're moving forward and shooting at the same time you're actually narrowing the gap between you and the enemy which makes it appear that you have longer range so technically you're not able to actually shoot the enemy from a further distance but since you're moving forward it always seems that way and it's very natural to do this when you have the stalker perk equipped so uh, because of all this I just find that aiming down sights is a lot more effective when you're using the silent KSG and my last tip is try to encounter the enemy where they're not expecting you so try to flank them from the side or from behind and if you do encounter the enemy just make sure that you're close enough to get that one shot kill because it's kind of useless to get a hit marker then take him out with the second shot you might as well get closer to him and then take that shot but if you're facing the enemy and he could see you but you're not within range just get the hell out of there just run away you'll see me do that in this gameplay and it saves my life so a lot of times you might actually have to run away when you're not within range but anyways guys that's about all the tips I have for you guys in this video hope you guys enjoy the Moab streak and you'll see that I get three knives in this streak and only one of them was a panic knife so you guys could bug me about that one in the comment section but the other two knives were actually planned and I knew the enemies were there uh, but anyways guys hope you enjoyed the gameplay and uh, have a great day and I'll see you guys later peace the fun's over guys serious play begins I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Frenzy! 
and another one bites the dust. That was craptacular. <laughs>